Welcome to Salt Lake City, Utah, where tonight the Raptors will close out the six-game road trip. Paul Jones and Sherman Hamilton, not quite these two guys behind us, but in the shadow of Stockton and Malone, Sherm and the Utah Jazz, really, like those two guys, have a system and a way that they play. And, you know, we heard all about it back in those days, and it's kind of the same right now. They play a certain way. They have certain people in certain positions. And one of the guys we really need to talk about is Rudy Gobert. Yeah, Rudy Gobert, kind of a throwback. Remember those teams with a Mark Eaton, a big seven-footer who could patrol the paint defensively and change offensive plays because he, he could protect the rim the way that he did. Rudy Gobert does the same thing. I mean, he's light, he's fluid, he's athletic, he can play above the rim, and he averages around three blocks per game. So when players are coming into the paint, they're looking to try and find out where he is before they get that shot up and that that takes away from their focus and that impacts the offensive yeah. teams and I think the Raptors really have to be concentrated in attacking him getting to his body getting him into foul trouble attacking the paint and making sure that he doesn't have the space and the opportunity to block shots not only does he block shot Sherm as you said guys are looking for him he's it's not even the shots he blocks it's the ones that he changes yeah. or gets into people's head well speaking of getting into your head if you're the Raptors you come out on this six game road trip, you have a chance to go three and three. I'm sure a lot of people penciled in losses at Golden State and San Antonio, and uh, maybe they get a four and two, but three and th three is realistic. And it would be a good way to finish this trip, in particular after what happened in Denver. Yeah, I think if you ask the Raptors, hey, three and three, you don't go on the road trip, would you take it? Yeah. You would take it. And I think the fact that they have that opportunity after, as you said, a really bad loss in their last game against the Nuggets, this is a bounce back game. This group has been resilient resilient over the years in terms of when they've had one of those poor performances the next game they've been able to step up and make a statement so you want to end it the right way the flight home is so much better when you win and the Raptors understand that this is a game that's going to present some challenges but if they do what they, they're supposed to do they can go home with a win all right let's hear what the Raptors had to say after practice this morning well, you know we're not even we're not even talking about losing you know we're we're here to win our goal is to win we're going to do everything to win the game. I think every team does like that. You know, nobody thinks about, oh, we're going to lose today. No, we come in here to win the game. You know, that's a great opportunity about, you know, having this amount of games. You know, you're going to have games like, like we had the other night. And, you know, it kind of sucks when you got to wait, you know, a day to get back out there, kind of redeem yourself and, you know, make up for it and get this feeling that you feel, you know, out of you. Rubio has done an excellent job of being an improved shooter. So now, along with his speed of going off pick and rolls, he can stop behind the screen now and shoot shots. Um, the young man, Donovan Be uh, Mitchell, is really playing well with a lot of confidence for a rookie, shooting the ball. They're going to him in late game situations. So, uh, you know, just the other guys have picked up the slack as much as anything else. Uh, they still have Goldberry in there protecting the rim. Uh, and Hood is shooting the ball very well. So they've, they've got similar pieces, similar pieces, same style of play, same offensive sets, uh, just different people. Uh, but uh, they, when you play in this building, you've got to come in with a lot of energy, a lot of pep, a lot of physicality. Uh, if not, you, you know, bad things are going to happen. And I expect our players to come out tonight with that effort, that physicality, and that focus. So you can see the conclusion of the road trip tonight, 9 o'clock on Sportsnet 1, and hear it on Sportsnet 590, The Fan.